Hey guys, this is Kyle Millen here from Stillen. Today we'd like to show you how to install the Nissan Maxima front lip spoiler. We get a lot of common questions about this particular front lip spoiler. A lot of concerns for people saying maybe it doesn't fit, maybe there's an error with the part, and we just want to show you that in most cases it's really the installation. So most people will install it on one side and then work their way around to the other side. If you do this, the most common problem is that it seems to be short on this corner. A lot of people say that the part's too short, it doesn't fit properly, and we can see that even with some effort, it doesn't want to snap into place. Now that we've shown you how not to install this maximum front lip spoiler, I'm going to bring in our uh, experts here who are going to show you how to properly and quickly and easily install this part prior to painting. You definitely want to make sure that you do a good test fitment before you paint the final part. So what the guys are going to do is go ahead and remove the part completely off the car, and they're going to start by putting the center of the lip on first. Now they're going to work each side evenly, and it snaps right into place. During the installation process, you're going to want to use your adhesion promoter, which is provided in the kit. This helps the tape stick to the factory front bumper. What Juan is doing is marking where the front lip is going to be so he can prep the front of the car and make sure that it's ready for the tape. The majority of our parts come pre-taped, and you can see that that tape is about an eighth of an inch below the top of the front lip spoiler. So what the guys are doing now is they're going to be actually prepping that line that they just drew on the front of the car, but they're actually doing it about an eighth of an inch below that line. All of the still and front lip spoilers come with this adhesion promoter. This is really important when you're installing the front lip to use this correctly. What this does is this helps bond the tape to the front of the car. As you can see, the guys have already prepped the paint that is going to be adhered to the car, and this is going to create a, a very strong, very durable bond. So one thing that you'll notice is that this front lip spoiler has been prepared by taping down the back side of the red tape. The red tape is uh, basically a protector for the double-sided tape that's already been installed on the front lip spoiler. So the guys will tape this side down so that way when they go to install it, they just remove it and very cleanly install it. Now that the guys have aligned the part in its final resting position, they'll go ahead and start removing the backing tape. To complete the installation of your front lift spoiler for your maximum, you're going to want to add a couple of screws on the back of each rear corner. This is included in the instructions and we include the screws for you as well. We hope that this answers any questions that you might have during the installation or pre-test fitting of your Nissan Maxima front lip spoiler or any other still in front lip spoiler that you may have. We thank you very much for watching this video and we ask if you have any questions in the future, please don't hesitate to call us.